Hey guys, this is Tim Verdau, and today I'll be talking about the difference between Content Drill and Restory. Uh, those are two products that I've reviewed over the last few days, and I got this question a lot. Hey Tim, uh, what is the difference between the two platforms? Which one is better, etc.? So uh, I decided to do this video so that you can make the decision yourself what looks better to you and which platform may fit better to you. So. In short, uh, if you ask my opinion, if you want to do a quick work, so um, you want to be fast in editing, you want to be fast in exporting, etc., then Restory is the way to go because this platform works a lot faster. I'm going to show you that also in a second. Uh, however, if you like to create and export uh, videos in multiple formats for YouTube, for Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all different kind of formats like square videos, horizontal, vertical videos, then Content Reel is the way to go. So when I create a project in here, so uh, let's say we're going to do a new project, we're going to do blah, 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 going to hit next. Then in here, you can see that you can choose from all these platforms inside Content Reel where you can create all those videos for. You can see that here, vertical video, uh, if you like to do regular video, uh, square video, you can have all these options inside of Content Reel. Now, when we go to Restory and we go to the template section, this is the only template uh, that you're going to get. You're going to get the vertical videos like you're seeing right here. Now, if you create um, reels, and it's also what Restory says, Restory is good at creating stories. So stories are those vertical videos like you're seeing right here that you can upload directly to your Instagram, ex Instagram account, etc. Well, with Content Reel, you could also focus on, for example, video ads, uh, square or regular videos that you can create with Content Reel. So that's a huge difference between the two. Now, let me quickly show you inside of Restory. Let's say I want to take one of these templates. Let's take this template that I want to work with. I can say use this template and I can start working with a template. Well, with Content Reel, I'm only limited to create videos with keywords. So I need to do keywords. So let's say I'm going to make a dog's video in here. I want to create four videos. And this is a dog's set of videos. I want to create this for Instagram. Now when I submit this, it's going to create scripts for dogs. Well, with Restory, you're free to do whatever you want. You simply take a template and you can start working. Now, Restory also comes with a text to video. So it also creates scripts. So let me open Restory in a new window here. And let's say we want to create a new project. We can also say we want to create videos from AI. So we can also say here, I want to create videos for dogs. So I'm going to click next and then it's going to create 10 IDs for me. Do you see that? We can choose from these IDs. So let's say how to train your dog. We're going to select a video for how to train your dog. And now it's generating the videos and IDs and titles. So this is a video. Let's say we want to create a story. We're going to choose our template. And now we can start working with Restory. It's going to create one story from a single keyword. Now, Content Reel is doing exactly the same like we saw here. The script is generated, but it has generated four scripts for us that we can use and we can start editing. So if you're looking for a lot of scripts that be written for you all at the same time, let's say you want to create 10 videos about a certain uh, topic, then Content Reel is the real winner here uh, because, you know, it's nine slide. I can say save script and now it's converting this to a video. Now, when we do the same thing for Restory, we can see here it created one video for us. However, when we're going to work inside of Restory and uh, I want to change things. Restory is so much faster in, in, in editing. So let's say uh, you want to add videos. Let's say I want to create a video for myself and I've uploaded my videos. I simply click on the plus button. I say insert video and now my video is in here, but I want to replace it in here. So I drag it. Boom. It's, it's ready. So right now the first slide is ready. I can go to the second slide and I can do exactly the same. I can, I can insert my video in here. I can simply drag and drop this and look how fast this goes. Oh, let me stop this insert and I can 
simply drag and drop this. Do you see how fast that goes? And I can add, uh, for example, different shapes. I like to add a heart in here. So I'm going to drag this heart. I'm going to move this heart. I want to add my video in here as well. So I'm going to my uploads again. I'm going to say plus insert video. I'm going to drag this inside of the heart. And now my face is inside the heart. I can give this a border of three pixel, for example. Uh, I have a border. I can say white. Do you see how fast I'm editing this single slide and I can go to the next slide, etc. Well, in Content Reel, um, it's, it's just as advanced. You can do the same things. Well, that's not exactly true. Uh, but if you like to change or add a video, media, for example, you can also do that. So you search for a video, uh, you type dogs in here. It comes up with videos for dogs. Let's say I want to add this video. Uh, now this video is being replaced. Now, the thing that I can do is I cannot change this template. So I really need to work with this single template. However, I can add, um, let's say I want to add a background. In here, I'm going to do video, I'm going to do docs. And now let's choose this picture in here. Oh, this should replace the background. I can also add uh, media on top here. So let's say I want to add media on top here. I want to add this doc here. I can move this, but you see this, this goes a lot slower. And when I want to grab the, the side here, um, it's, it's just not as, you know, I, I try to, to resize this. So this takes more time here to, to resize this image. Do you see that? It, it goes slower. And um, you don't have all these extra options like borders and add all different kind of shapes that you're seeing here. So with Restory, you can add all different kind of shapes to your, let's say you want to add an Instagram picture. You, you simply put that Instagram picture in here and boom, you're done. This... The editor is simply way faster than with Content Reel. Now with Content Reel, at the end, you have some extra options, like you can add your own logo on each slide, or you can add your watermark, or at the end of the video, when you, when you render this video, you can, for example, add an intro and an outro. That's not possible with Restory. It's simply this story, and that's it. So you need to upload your own video and, and create a new slide for that. Well, in Content Reel, you can simply say, uh, I'm not sure where that is. I think it should be in the settings as well. So I cannot see it right now, but there is an option to add a beginning and an end to the video. So yes, you got the same editor. You can go over each slide inside of Content Reel, but Restory is the real winner uh, when it comes to creating fast videos. Now, exporting, when you're done with Content Reel, you simply click on Render, and now it's going to render the video for you. With Restory, you have some extra options. So let's save this project. And when I hit Publish, uh, they also improve this exporting. Since I did my last review, I talked with the vendor and he said, hey, Tim, I've improved. Uh, I've added some improvements that you uh, suggested to me. Because now you're able to clip all these videos together to merge all these videos together so you can export them as a single video so let's say you want to have all these slides so that you can upload them separately you can do that uh, and you can say okay the first video for example needs to be 2.8 seconds or maybe five seconds the second slide needs to be four seconds etc then what you can do when you click next now you have multiple op uh, options so we're going to export this here you have the option to export this as a split video or as a combined video. Well, in Content Reel, you have no option to split each separate slide. In Restory, that's possible. So you could add each slide specifically. You can download each slide specifically, or you can combine them here when where they will be pasted all together. So when I click Next now, uh, this is also a new option. I can add music from here, from the app itself. So it comes with a bunch of music, but you can now also upload your own video on top of your video. Also something new is that you can create voiceovers for each slide. So you can simply say, I wanna have this slide a voiceover. I wanna have this slide, this voiceover. You can put your whole voice over here and it will create it from text to voice. And you can cho choose from these voices. Now within Content Reel, uh, you will have more voices uh, with, with more languages. Uh, Restory is only focused on English and you get these voices. So uh, with Content Reel, you can create more voices than with Restory. However, it's nice. It's a nice extra feature that was not available when this product launched. So they have improved that. You can also add your own music. Uh, sorry, 
add your own music here. I already told you that. So you can upload your own music on top of these videos. And let's simply choose here this music piece and I'm gonna hit next. And we can publish, pub, publish this project. It's going to render all these slides for us, just like with Content Real. Now, that's the last thing that I'm going to talk about. Um, well, almost the last thing is that Restory, the rendering of Restory goes way faster than Content Real. So for that part, Restory is the real winner. Uh, the export and the creation of videos goes much quicker. Content Real takes simply a longer time to create those videos. Uh, one extra thing that Content Real has extra, and I think that's one of the upgrades, is that you have integrations. So you can integrate with Facebook, YouTube, Scivit, Script Reel, Trim Reel, Live Reel, Sonority, and Video Reel to share your videos directly to these platforms once they're ready. So when I go to a project in here, and I go to weight loss, for example. Let's see if I have a video in here that's ready. Well, this is still in progress. This render that we just created. Um, let's see if there's, yeah, there's one here. So here you can say publish, and then you can say, I wanna to publish to these networks directly from the platform. Well, with Restory, you need to download. So let's say this is a download. You need to download your video. You click on download, and here you got your video, and you can download that here to your computer and then you can upload that to your social media channel. You can upload it to Instagram, TikTok, et cetera, all the, the platforms that uh, accept vertical videos. And that's basically the difference between Content Reel and Restory. Both, in my opinion, are great products to create quick videos. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Uh, but that that's it for the difference between Content Reel and restore. Now, if this video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, to my YouTube channel, if you haven't done yet, I do a lot of uh, videos, product reviews on similar products. So, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have interest in one of these projects, the link is in the description below. Talk to you soon. Cheers.